Good morning, everybody. Erin Gobra. It is St. Patrick's Day today, and we're going to do corned beef. Now, sometimes when you get corned beef, you don't necessarily have that little packet that you put in with the roast beef, uh, corned beef. So today we're going to do a little supplement to imitate that packet that you usually get in with your corned beef. Over here, we have mustard seed, ginger, allspice, white peppercorns, and bay leaves, and one cinnamon stick. Now, I'm going to break the cinnamon stick up into the um, meat itself. Oops, it's not going to want to do it, so I'm going to have to come back to that. We're going to add in all of our ingredients. And then I'll come back after I get this cinnamon stick um, broken up. I got our cinnamon stick all broken up. We're just going to put this in here now. We're going to add water. Until it's almost full. Not quite, but almost full. And this is a pretty big corned beef. And bring you back. We're going to turn this on low for six hours and cook it very slowly. And I'll bring you back when it's done. Or almost done because then we have to add our potatoes and we have to add our cabbage and carrots. Well, I'm getting my Savoy cabbage ready to go into the crock pot, and I already have my carrots done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off this um, larger white end. I don't want really tough areas on there, and once we do that, I'll chop it up again, maybe into ch little chunks, and then we'll add it to the crock pot. I, as you can see, I took off the um, areas of the really dark, heavy white part the Savoy and now I'm going to um, I just cut, cut it in quarters and we'll put that in as soon as um, I finish with all the Savoy. Okay we're over here by the crock pot. I had to move my crock pot because I'm going to be making other food at the other area so I needed my stove ready. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the heat temperature up to high and we're going to put it on four more hours. I'm not going to have it cook that long, but you need the temperature. So we need to cook this for approximately, oh, about an hour, hour and a half to two hours longer because you have to get the temperature up and we're going to add in all of our savoy and our cabbage. As you can see, the areas over here is not as, uh, open as over by my stove so I'm going to push all of the carrots off of the corned beef and we're going to get it into the water so that the carrots and the savoy cabbage will cook and we'll bring it back as soon as we can when this is done. Okay now that we have our carrots and our savoy in cooking we're going to add our new potatoes which is uh, Yukon Gold and what I did was I just sliced them up and we'll get them into the water and submerged and then we're going to cook this along with the cabbage and the carrots and it'll come out to be a wonderful wonderful dinner okay everybody here we are and there's our corned beef and it's done so it's time to get everything out of there and then we'll plate everything up. Well, as you can see, here it is all plated up. We have our cabbage and our potatoes and our carrots. And I'm going to give it a taste of the corned beef and see how it tastes. Mmm, very flavorful. And just remember that the potatoes they too will um, soak up the juices coming off of the um, corned beef and absorb some of the juices from that. 
excellent, wonderful, wonderful taste. You got it? You got to try this recipe. It's wonderful. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day today, everybody. Erin Gobra.